Hey guys and gals, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll show you all 11 buffets that's currently open here in Las Vegas for 2023. We'll talk about the best buffets to the worst buffets, and most of the best buffets have really good seafood options from dinner buffets to brunch buffets. We'll cover it all. So sit back, relax, grab a snack, and let's get started. Las Vegas is definitely the entertainment capital of the world, but it's also the buffet capital. So my least favorite buffet is at the Circus Circus Casino. And if you have a big family with kids, you're looking for a cheap buffet, then look no further. They have a free circus show, including their Adventure Dome, which is their indoor theme park with rides. So the Adventure Dome is a little dated, but they do have a good selection of rides. This area is a a little sketchy but they do have security including police officers on duty now let's take a look at their buffet a lot of waiters and waitresses forget to check on you so it's nice to have a self-serve drinking station a lot of vegas buffets are starting to incorporate that and they do offer that here so that's nice so the breakfast and lunch buffet is from 7 a.m to 2 p.m kids three and under are free Kids 4 to 10 are $15.50. So, hey, that's not bad for kids. Adults, they're $31. And dinner is a few dollars more. You're not going to find filet mignon here, LOL. But if your kids like macaroni and cheese, corn dogs, tacos, and pizza, then, hey, this is the perfect place for you. The food here is pretty bland, not a lot of seasons, so it's not my cup of tea, but hey, to each his own. I will say their desserts here is not that bad. They have a nice salad selection, and hey, my daughter's a happy camper as long as she continues to eat that dessert. <laughs> so there you go. My younger daughter enjoyed this place, but my oldest daughter's like me. This food is bland. She didn't like it. I didn't like it. Now let's move on. My number 10 buffet is the only buffet open at Old Las Vegas. It's located at the Main Street Station. Station Casino. It's called the Garden Buffet. Kids three and under are free. They're open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. for brunch, and it's only $23.99. Kids four through 10 are half off, so that's not a bad price. They're actually cheaper than Circus Circus, and I like this buffet a lot better than the Circus Circus. For Saturdays and Sundays, it's $26.99. And that's from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Their dinner buffet is only open Fridays and Saturdays. And it's $32.99. So, hey, it's a reasonable priced buffet. And that's hard to find here in Vegas. Now, again, it's not the Bacchanal buffet or the Wind buffet. But, hey, it's a pretty fair priced buffet selection. Let's move on. Now, my number nine buffet is at the Excalibur Hotel and Casino. And actually, number eight is next door at the Luxor Hotel and Casino. So the Excalibur and the Luxor Casino's prices are both the same. It's owned by the MGM Casino. They're only open for the brunch buffet. It's from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. It's not my favorite buffet, but hey, it's not my worst. All right, so just to recap, the Excalibur and the Luxor buffets are MGM properties. So my number seven buffet on the Vegas Strip is at the MGM Casino's buffet. I actually like this buffet a lot better than the Excalibur and the Luxor. It's also open for brunch. It's from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. The weekday brunch buffet is $27.99, and the weekend brunch buffet is only $36.99. So the prices are fair, not to mention kids five years and under are free. The dessert selection's incredible, and actually, this is my favorite part about this buffet. I'm not a big fan of the buffet, but their desserts are pretty good. Let's move on. All right, so we're getting down to the nitty-gritty. This leads me to my number six favorite buffet. It's the Friday Night Seafood Buffet at the South Point Hotel and Casino. Some people might call this a mediocre buffet, but on Friday night, this buffet comes to life for seafood night. It's $40.00. Per person, make sure you sign up for the free players card, but you get all you can eat seafood, all you can eat crab legs, hot crab legs, cold crab legs. And mind you, the crab legs are cut in half, so it's easy to eat. So if you're not a big seafood fan, don't come to this buffet. But if you like oysters, you like crab legs, and you're looking for a good selection of seafood, now mind you, they do have uh, prime rib and other options. So yes, it is a pretty good buffet and for seafood night, it's a great buffet. Let's move on. So I've lived here in Vegas since 2007 
and buffets have always been a staple of Las Vegas. So that leads me to my number five favorite buffet. It's the buffet at the Bellagio Hotel and Casino. It's $44.99 Monday through Friday and $49.99 Friday through Sunday for the weekend brunch buffet. And they are open for dinner Friday through Sunday from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. On Friday, it's $66.99. And Sundays, it's $74.99. Yeah, and it's a pretty good buffet. Definitely one of my favorite buffets here in Vegas. I was here for their brunch buffet. And what I love about brunch buffets is that you get the best of both worlds. You get both breakfast and lunch. And they do have a pretty fair selection of desserts here. Now, it's not my favorite buffet for desserts, but they do have a pretty good selection. And hey, this is one of my top five buffets. The biggest pro is their grilled vegetables and their meat station. Not to mention, I do like their self-serve drink station. I love this stuff because when you're looking for your waiter and waitress, you never can find them. So it's nice to have a buffet that has a drinking service station where you can get your own drinks. Let's move on. So now we're moving down to my number four favorite buffet here in Las Vegas. It's located at the Cosmopolitan Hotel and Casino. It's none other than the Wicked Spoon Buffet. So from their delicious bone marrow to their wicked chicken wings and even their crab legs, they have a great selection of items here, including their signature shrimp and grits. The prices are $45 for their weekday brunch, Kids 5 through 10, $22.50, so not bad. The weekend brunch is $49. Kids 5 through 10 is $24. And this buffet actually has a really good selection of dessert here. So yeah, overall, I really like this buffet. Reservations are highly recommended, though. Let's move on. All right, top three buffets, let's go. And my number three buffet is none other than the Buffet at the Wynn Hotel and Casino. And the line here is usually pretty long. The best way to avoid these long lines is make reservations in advance. Highly recommended, y'all. See, this is the reservation line, and it's not bad. Now, I really like this buffet. I come here often. If you want to do it big, you can do this whole main lobster, some champagne, $125 per person. Uh, but the weekday brunch, breakfast, $39. Brunch, $45. The gourmet brunch is uh, 50 bucks and their weekend gourmet dinner, 70 bucks. So we're here for their weekend gourmet dinner, $70. But this is actually a really good buffet. So really, ultimately, you pay for what you get. So if you guys like hot crab legs, they do have both hot and cold crab legs here. It's a lot of good stuff here. Roasted chicken, grilled vegetables, uh, the leg of lamb. I come here and just go back and forth just for the leg of lamb. It's incredible. You know what, guys? We got the cheap buffets out of the way. Now we're focused on all these gourmet buffets like the win. And that's what I love about this buffet. It's a great selection of food. Right now we're in the Asian section. Now, if you're a fan of seafood like me, these guys have a great selection of seafood, clams, uh, stone crab, crab legs, shrimp. And again, they have cold crab legs as well as hot crab legs here. And you know what? This buffet is just great overall. And their dessert section is awesome. I've said this many times and I'll say it again. My two favorite dessert buffets here in Vegas is this buffet here at the Wynn Casino and the Bacchanal Buffet at Caesars Palace. Now, mind you, I'm just talking about dessert buffets but these buffets are definitely my favorite when it comes to dessert. You know when they say a picture tells a thousand words? Well, this buffet is definitely telling a thousand words. The selection is just endless. It goes on and on and on. And this food is dangerous because if you're on a diet, you're going to pick up a few pounds. But hey, life is short. Sometimes you just got to splurge. Now let's move on, guys. Okay, so we're down to my two favorite buffets here in Las Vegas. Vegas for 2023. Now, mind you, these are my top picks. So at the end of the day, to each his own. But my number two favorite spot is the Wednesday night lobster buffet here at the Palms Hotel and Casino. And that's because I love lobster and it's overall a great buffet. But there's no true lobster buffet here in Vegas that serves all you can eat whole lobster. And it's only $64 
and 99 cents per person. So, hey, winner, winner, lobster dinner, and it's well worth every single penny. Now, you got to go with the big appetite when you come to a buffet like this because, hey, it's all you can eat. You can eat whatever the heck you want. Now, their dessert section is pretty good, but hey, I'm a big lobster fan. If you're looking for items other than lobster, then I would recommend you going to the Wynn Buffet or the Bacchanal Buffet at Caesars Palace. So this leads me to my number one buffet here in Las Vegas for 2023, which is none other than the Bacchanal Buffet at Caesars Palace. Hey, inflation is no joke, y'all. The prices have gone up a bit. It's $79.99 for the crab brunch buffet and the dinner buffet. Kids 4 through 10 is $39.99. So the price isn't bad for what you get. You know, they say you get what you pay for, and this buffet is incredible. If you're a fan of meat like me, they have everything from quail to barbecue duck wings, a uh, tri-tip, prime rib, and even Wagyu beef. They even have the whole pig. In the Philippines, they call this a lechon. And they even have authentic Mexican corn. The first time I discovered Mexican corn, I was literally eating this every single day. Hey, check this out, y'all. Duck carnitas, quesadilla. So what I love about this buffet is the culture. They touch bases with every culture on the planet from Asian food to Mexican food from just pretty much everything Mediterranean food they even have an Asian soup station where you can get tonkatsu and even Filipino chicken adobo and their Filipino chicken adobo is actually really good but yes this is the reason why I put these guys as my number one buffet in Las Vegas because they touch on every single culture in the world. And yeah, the wind touches on some, but these guys touch on every single culture. So if you're looking for just a more American traditional food, then yeah, the wind buffet probably would be your number one buffet to go to. If you're looking for more of a lobster buffet option, like I told you my number two, then you definitely want to check out the Wednesday night lobster buffet at the Palms Hotel and Casino. But if you guys are looking for a diverse culture of food, you got to check out the buffet at the Bacchanal Caesars Palace. And even their dessert is on par. It's endless. You could just go on and on and on from one end to the other end. Their dessert is incredible. And I said this before and I'll say it again. If a picture tells a thousand words, this video is telling a million words right now. This buffet is incredible. We finally made it to the number one buffet here in Las Vegas, according to my opinion, LOL. So we came, we saw, we conquered, we had a great time, but I'm out of here. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe to my page, but most importantly, hit that notification bell so you guys are notified as soon as I post new videos, and y'all have a great day. Thanks.